okay hello guys this is the more towards to the how you should do when you receive your brand new car especially for the Hyundai Ionic hybrid so I'm on this about two years plus so I know what is supposed to be do for you a combination if you receive a brand new car and first and foremost of course you need to do a tint the tint is a very crucial for you to have a tint when you receive a car please do check your tin uh, fender don't so uh, high high rejection very high rejection heat is recommendation any type of the protection film uh, five mil mil for the left uh, for the door sorry for the windows is also recommendation but take a note if you have a five mil you might difficult to break the glass from the inside but according to them in breaking the glass for the outside is more harder than comparing the break the glass from the inside so hopefully there's no case about that and please take a note also if you do a high tin rejection um, pardon me you will might affect it to the, the sensor of your here your sensor of the light the sensor of light to, to trigger the light here sometimes it will be a little bit out by right if no tin at all the sensor of the light it will works very well so you might confuse why my light is always on even is still is still uh, still bright in the day or still bright in the evening so you might think that is the cause of your tin by right if no tin at all the the your uh, auto light will be working perfectly fine secondly first is tin secondly is the ppf ppf is very recommended and recommend for your all your car so for me for a white car i will do a ppf only the headlamp okay this headlamp that's more crucial you don't want to have a chip off or everything from the stone when you're doing the driving in the highway and for you other car for except for the white maybe other other colors you might consider ppf overall on this engine hood some of you 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 can do a ppf the entire body if you're living in the high dense city then i will suggest you do an entire body of course it's very expensive but i I, one of the owner they only um, spend about 3.8 K to do a whole PPF so that's a recommendation for me I do PPF also on the here the uh, the gray area because it look nice when I think that this this gray area is PPF is move towards to the same color with the body is a glossy finish I also do a gray area PPF here on the this side screen okay so it's look glossy finish and look like look like nice and also I will do a PPF and this black color plastic the reason is uh, dust plastic is uh, sometimes people nasty and then chip off then this very important to PPF on the radar this radar is more very important please do a PPF on here to prevent crack or any type of uh, stone chip okay and um, some of you if you think that you want to do a tin don't do a double layer because by right in ionic itself the glass have a gradation uh, tin ready inside if you notice here you can see there's a gradation tin ready on the glass so it's waste your is is actually free usually if you apply that double layer but that is not recommend for me if you think that the sun is blocked there's a you don't like the sun you might use this one this is very useful to block the sun not to have a a tin in here then secondly you can use the sunglasses for uh, they given you the sunglasses that's the purpose and you more look cool if you use the sunglasses inside the car if you feel that uh, the tin is is not enough for you 
for me I will not do a double tin because I always constantly want to see the road or the marking building and so on then very is uh, difficult to to look at it like, like, like this so, and the, the third one I think dust cam install dust cam discreet like this is very nice hidden it doesn't block your view when you're driving you can see the panoramic view is very nice without blacking you see there's no uh, you cannot see any dust cam when you're driving from your side angle either you're tall and either you're tall or short so it doesn't uh, look like there and then the thing is um, uh, LCD eh, sorry LED light so I install this LED as well white color so it doesn't hot because the original bulb is a uh, is a very hot so if you use the LED light white color is more I like more nice the color car and and then the wheel not uh, wheel lock nut so this is this is wheel uh, lock nut I buy this in the Hyundai Junior parts. Uh, sorry, uh, Honda Junior parts. I buy in Honda because Hyundai doesn't have this. So this is to prevent uh, easily to take out your wheel by uh, by thief or something like that. So they have a special key to open this. So this is my recommendation. This is very good. It doesn't protruding to anything, and also keep the maintain the original. Uh, uh, lock the color also look discreet and nice and using uh, is a is a stainless steel same like the original and and also this one for your driving convenient uh, is best recommend you have this kind of uh, mirror this one can be adjust accordingly you might see my other video when I install this this is very uh, recommendation for to looking at the side curb you the blind spot so with this I expecting I can drive more the more discreet and more uh, more just I can judge my road is better with this my surrounding and so let's take a look on the boot and I also changed the to the LED light for the boot and you might have need to have also power bank so this is a power bank is power bank is not only to charge the phone this can charge the battery if your car is a very or a first batch still have a 12 volt battery Sometimes if this one doesn't work well, you can use this one to jump to give a power to the ECU in the front. You must use this one jump start in the front, not to the battery. You, if you want to know how to jump start the Ionic, please check my other videos, previous, previous video, how to jump start. You also can jump, uh, can charge the battery uh, here. If your battery is so weak yes you can do that but uh, for ionic to jump start uh, is must jump jump start the bed ECU on the front in engine bay I also do a sound insulation like this one I have dual layer of sound insulation here is the, the first layer is to damping the sound and second layer is I'm using this one so like this one is like a cotton type of material I cut accordingly and then and I apply all this here everything so uh, doing so by using a sound insulation is, is it really improve the car itself because uh, Ionic is a very quiet car but doesn't have really good uh, uh, sound insulation 
or I would say is the sound solution is should adequate enough but if you put it uh, sorry I don't know why this one is doesn't fit in okay so this is the second layer it's a type of a uh, what do you call this uh, like a cotton so I didn't use a spare tire at the moment I want to give a try how it sound how it feel it's really improved really improved because Ioni doesn't have a good uh, shock absorber so the moment is uh, the shock absorber is hit a bump it tend to knocking to the top like bang bang to the top so it doesn't have a really holding to the to the holding good like it's also I would say it's soft enough to to reduce the high high tension of the uh, on the bump. So with this, I feel that it's more solid. So it doesn't that like a duk 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 like that. It's more softer. So it's the damping the sound as well. And if you notice, if you receive a car, usually this one, this ribbon or this pull pulling tape or pulling ribbon usually like this one so when you close this to here this is always hit or always like this what you need to do remove the screw turn other way around and screw back okay. and then this one also the manual fuel uh, door manual so this is to pull your your manual fuel opener so make sure this one put it here if you don't see anything in this compartment you might take it out this one they are underneath here so so like that okay so it did now with this setup it doesn't close perfectly will not always hit like this okay and you might you might also think to get the netting okay this car really designed with the this kind of hook so you better get the net for you but some people they use a compartment I don't like using compartment I like to use whatever the original it is already provided then I will use it like this kind of netting so this kind of netting is very important for me also it really holding my stuff here and yeah so the netting is recommended if you don't get you don't have it or Hyundai doesn't give it to you just buy or I think it's, a, it's quite cheap enough and with this kind of setup with the sound insulation behind I also do on the door one two three four all the doors have a sound insulation two layer one is uh, uh, for the door I use a uh, two layer of the yoga mat it really works with yoga mat and secondly the cotton type so it's really isolate sound from outside but for the wheel sound it could be different the reason is I will tell you in the end so sound damping in behind here and then you close this one and then you close also this one then you close the booth then you have more solid of the sound noise you will not feel any sound uh, disturbance from the behind here if you're sitting on the driver or passenger okay So now I will show you all um, actually explain a bit about the sound insulation. Okay, this is explanation about the sound damping in my car. So what I did is on the the back portion is already isolated 
and also the door already isolated for the sound insulation. What happened is when I feel the sound road or uneven road or bumping or any kind of uh, other car behind me or surrounding me is really isolate the noise but not for the tire noise because the tireness produced on the front most likely then the tire noise is the most noise ever in the every type of vehicle i can explain you why so means when when i sitting in here i wouldn't able to hear anything the noise behind me and then here as well if we really reduce the noise the tire noise still coming from the front can still hear, but however, however, is reducing by using the sound insulation. So the door itself, I, uh, if you if you you driving never use any music, so the spectrum of the sound will coming usually from the tire, because the tire will producing the wave noise too, and then noise is is uh, traveling through the through the air so when you car move like this so the noise from the tire especially the front tire you able to still hear because the wave is coming to your cabin and then pass through to your another vehicle to the behind vehicle and the tire noise is always always there you can what well, how many you you want to you do your sound insulation the tire noise still there but of the the difference is when you use the sound insulation you damping the sound vibration to your your own car and this car doesn't really have a good shock absorber so when i feel that i already apply this sound insulation it's really damping the sound when they vibrate when the uneven road especially for the back one so the back one really really improve a lot and um um if i play a music coming through my speaker front here and also the speakers located here 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 and here so the wave of the sound is circulation inside the cabin so doing that so you can hear now the my car is now uh is is turn up the petrol engine because the most sound produced is from the engine compartment the engine compartment coming here is doesn't have a good insulation but still can hear now the reason is uh, the engine is very close and ionic when they produce the engine is quite noise but not really happening if you play radio or music inside your cabin the reason is the wave coming from the speaker here four of them it tend to circulate inside the cabin so the spectrum of the cabin is around here is blocking the noise noise from outside this include significant on the tire noise that's 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 the the good thing if you like a music or play a radio or anything from your phone or anything else this will help a lot to reduce the noise from outside but some people doesn't like to have uh, do that because they want to hear the surrounding so that's a good idea yes by you listening all the sound surrounding so you don't need to use the sound insulation but you can do sound insulation is good for damping the when the car vibrating yes so uh, I tell you why the tire reduce noise is very hard to to reduce I show you okay you can see this is the opposite route I have a few meters away from the normal road and you can hear the sound of the tire from there to here even motorbike also can hear you can hear that right so the tire noise is uh, the most noise ever produced in your own car So now there's no car, there's a bike. Okay. 
so this is something is very hard to avoid if uh, the, especially for the tire noise and this tire is a very good it's a it's a Michelin come with it it's a Michelin Prima C3 and it's very quiet so I like this tire when the when when the Hyundai give the, the this Michelin it's very good tire it's very high performance it's very quiet and it's very hard to I, for me itself to, if I want to change the tire to other brand I try to stick to the same by the tire so this is, is very quiet tire so it's very good performance as well so it doesn't produce so much noise compared to other tires if you use a dust cam you might also think about to install something like this uh, uh, to record in the parking mode so this is one of the brand I use uh, from the Blackview Power Magic Pro so it's a recommend to just switch on this one then you will use the battery 12 volt battery to power up your dust cam I have a few dust cam installed from the front the back the side here and also side here and also on the back you can see that um, So it cover about 360 degrees. And this one as well is a very good. Is to help to see the curb. So you will not hit the back tire or none. You will not hit anything when you judging the when you want to re reverse or parking. I think that's about it. If you think that um, this video useful please do like it and yeah I think I will do cover most of it everything and also I don't recommend you to do a coating because coating I think is just waste of money rather than when you receive a car you better save your money coating or buying something like a good brand product like Maguire so I will recommend you to do a buy the good shampoo from Maguire either the uh, there's another one higher than this one this is wash and wax there's a Maguire uh, there's another one I forgot I have one in, inside the house so you use buy this one if you want to wash your own car then you better save up your money for the co rather than using a coating money you start coating money once a year or six months a year, once a six month you do a for the polish and wax maybe wax is more important polish is just once a year or maybe once a once a, once in the two years yeah okay there's a one thing also uh, you might think about uh, to change your signal bulb uh, like this one I'm using the LED rather than the conventional bulb. The signal bulb, when you change the signal bulb, is look like a is a same rhythm. If you have a signal bulb, same rhythm with your your uh, side mirror as well. The LED light when you turn signal. Say so I also change the uh, reverse reverse bulb behind reverse bulb here. I change from the bulb to LED so the side signal bulb LED this one also LED and that's is some more improvement and also the uh, I also do a PPF actually in the back this plastic area this plastic area is very crucial as well most people will will hit this back plastic area so if you do a PPF this bumper hole should be good enough as well but for me because my car is white color so I just do a the black plastic need to do a PPF and for the plate number I suggest you uh, if you keen to have a very discreet of the uh, plate number don't use a plate holder straight away use the ugly rig directly stick to the the body and don't use uh, any kind of font 
just a phone directly to the acrylic plate like a sticker so it's very fluss and then there's no phone protruding like this it's, it's recommend it's more nice and neat as well so the same apply with the front and the back if you do that your car is very nice yeah and um, another recommendation actually I like this uh, handle color it's uh, this uh, silver finish if you think that this a if you think that you want to paint this side should be the same with this should be very nice uh, the side trim here paint with this color and also this plastic area if you paint that with the, with the, the silver color you're very nice as well okay that's about it thank you oh yeah one more thing I almost forgot when you receive your car especially for Ionic you will notice the car doesn't have really good uh, there's a there's a there's a produce a noise when you creeping because I think the reason they give the black pad and that this is is like that so that is is unavoidable unless you change the backpack backpack with a different type of uh, um, backpack and I think also is also depending on the disc as well mm -hmm. so for you that you really really want to change the backpack uh, you can do it but I I would I wouldn't suggest that to uh, to, to change because Ionic um, brake actually is 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 very seldom they use a brake and this to to slowing down the car or to break the, the car because ionic use most likely is using the generative engine <coughs> to slow down your car before it it break using a disc so your uh, brake pad i believe uh, is more long lasting compared to the normal petrol engine car because that's the unique of the hybrid car is is more lasting about the engine and also is more lasting about the brake pad and the brake pad I checked with one of the owner 61k is still very thick actually so it doesn't really need to change I think it's more than 150k miles or kilometers I think you still have a good break because the reason if you very know how to do a generative braking slowing down the car before stopping the car to the red light you use more generative braking then is more uh, the brake pad is doesn't work so much yeah so uh, that is no I uh, don't need to worry about I think it tend to have a noise yes but it's only happen when you creep the car slow movement yes but if you know how to drive when you fully from the movement to the fully stop it doesn't really have a noise it will use the generic braking then when it fully stop then the the, the this is then it creeping slowly then stop but it's only happen when when you creep the car less than uh, I think less than three kilometers per hour very slow movement that will have a noise of course then from the stop to releasing the brake pad it will not have a noise actually so it depends how you drive for me that is the changing the brake pad is not really important because I feel that this brake original yes is very noisy but it's more gripping it's more gripping for the for the AAB purpose for automated auto emergency brake so this is very good and I then uh, I feel that ionic when you break is very constant the graphic or when you well the graphic of the chart if I will can illustrate is like this so this is the pedal pedal and this is uh, you this is the braking then this is the pedal when you press then it always constantly graphically 
slowing down when you press harder it will hard it will grip more so it's very nice ionic we have a very very nice braking system yeah that's uh, the last video i think uh that's about it thank you for watching bye bye